Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at the Retro Flag NES style cartridge shell for 2.5 inch SATA drives on the NES Pi 4 case. We'll take a look at each of the two shells, the gray and the gold, and we'll go ahead and assemble it and set it up with the latest version of Recall Box. Let's go ahead and get started. I was beginning to wonder if Retroflag was ever going to release the cartridge shells for the NES Pi 4 case. And here we have it. They finally produced them. In this case, <laughs> we've got gray and gold. You can only tell from the packaging by the small label here that says gold and the other one says nothing, which is gray. I'll place the specs in the lower left. You'll need a 2.5 inch SATA drive, USB 3.0 up to 5 gigabits per second and a maximum drive size of 7 millimeter thickness so keep all that in mind this is the cable that you will connect up to the sleeve and the other end will plug into your computer let's take a quick look at the cartridge shell here we're looking at the gray shell and on the bottom you see where the connector goes as well as the LED it's currently plugged in these retail for around $19.99 and aside from the cartridge sleeve itself, it is identical to the cartridge that came with your Nest Pi 4. Here we're looking at the gold. It retails for $24.99, so it's slightly more expensive than the gray one. And as you can see, I'm already getting fingerprints on this already, so uh, that's a thing. <laughs> Otherwise, it looks beautiful. We'll do a quick comparison of the gray and the gold cases side by side as well as the 3D printed case from Denierto Designs. I personally like the design on the left, but of course that one doesn't come with the sleeve. When assembling the shell, pay attention to the way the notch is oriented. Go ahead and seat that. Here we have all the pieces that we're gonna be assembling, including the two and a half inch SSD. Make sure that the holes here are lined up to the shell holes over here. And you simply just put the SSD into the cartridge shell and then put the top cover on and then snap everything together like so there we go and once that's done then you can go ahead and begin putting the screws in I started with the larger short screws and those will go into the holes that go into the SSD and hold it in place so go ahead and screw those in and once you're done with that, take the outside screws and go ahead and screw those into the side. They just go directly into the other side of the shell and hold it securely. Great. There we go. Looks good. Everything looks lined up just right. I think we're about ready to try it out. We'll take a quick look at it from the bottom so you can see how this aligns. And just slide the cartridge into the sleeve. And then we can go ahead and plug in the cable into the sleeve. And now we have direct access to the contents on that SSD from our computer through the USB connection. Once plugged in, you'll see the blue LED to indicate you have power. Now switching over to my PC, I'm going to go to the Raspberry Pi Imager, which you can find at the link below, and select Choose OS. And in this case, I'm going to go down to where it says Emulation and Games OS and select recall box. Here we have version 7.2.1 reloaded for the Pi 4 and 400, which is the one we want. It has some new features that I want to check out, including light gun support. And up here on the top, there's our SSD. So we'll go ahead and select the 250 gig SSD and click right. Once we do that, it's going to prompt us if we're sure. We'll go ahead and click yes and go ahead and write recall box to the SSD. Once completed, just simply click the Continue button and close out of the Raspberry Pi Imager. After burning the image, we'll take the cartridge out of the sleeve and pop it into our Nez Pi 4 case, just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power to the case and turn it on. The first time you boot Recall Box, it'll create a share partition and expand it so that you can easily copy your games to the SSD. If you need more detailed information on how to set up Recall Box, check out the video at the top, as well as uh, the two videos on the bottom for the NES Pi 4 SSD boot and the NES Pi 4 case itself. 
I also have a detailed NISPY4 guide at wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash NISPY4. With this version of Recall Box, I didn't have any trouble connecting to my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi router, which is something I encountered in previous releases. And also, I was not able to boot up off the external USB port. And one last thing, when using the hardware power off button, it did appear to be doing a safe shutdown. Now let's check out some games. Here we're looking at Galactic Pinball and the Virtual Boy. This is a system I picked up in the mid-90s and had a blast playing it. It was very short-lived, however, and not many games were developed for it. And one of my all-time favorites from the early 80s is Galaga. I love how the Raspberry Pi 4 can bring all of these games back to life. Alright, now we'll switch over to Dead or Alive 2 on the Dreamcast. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with Recall Box, Retro Pi, or even Botocera on your NESPi 4 case. Well, that brings us to the end of this video on the Retroflag NES-style cartridge shell for 2.5-inch SATA drives for the NESPi 4 case. If you already own the NESPi 4 case, I think it's pretty much a slam dunk to go ahead and pick up one of these cartridge shells. It makes it certainly a lot easier for plugging it in your PC and transferring your games and so forth. It also makes for a stylish enclosure to just hook it up to your PC and use it for backing up your important files. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you would, please click the like button if you found this video helpful. And if you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.